Trey, Jaren, Darren, Sophia Soto with the Nerds of Color. Hi. I'm so excited to speak with the three of you. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Or, so to start off, I really love that all of the endings for your characters felt very full circle and I feel like represented a lot of growth. Did you have any full circle moments while you were filming the final season? I mean, I have one. Um, not, I guess, while filming the final season, but like it was a realization that I just found out like a week ago that my actual prom in 2019 was four years ago, uh, June 8th, and then we we're releasing June 8th, which is like, pfft wild but basically at like 12 o'clock midnight I was at prom and on my way to like my after prom to do fun things so uh the, <laughs> the full circle for me I think was at the start of the show I was just starting college and then I ended the show having graduated from both high school as Ben Gross and college as Jaron Lewison so I think that was my full circle moment it's just like crazy how they both were intertwined I think a full circle moment um it's echoed throughout the whole series, not just season four, but I grew up in LA taking the Universal Studios tram ride. Uh. Um, so I always just remember taking that tram ride as a kid, being like, how cool would it be to be an actor and work here one day? And then we're on set and they're driving past our trailers and then freaking out sometimes when they saw <laughs> us walk. Yeah. And uh, yeah. that was just a really full circle moment for me. I love those. And you know I have to ask about the ships. I mean, you both have just torn me. I've been Team Pax and I've been Team Ben. Now that the series is over, be honest, were you Team Pax and were you Team Ben? Did you change ships at all? And were you satisfied with the ending of where they ended up? Did you guys ever change? I mean, I mean, did you guys ever change your ship? No, I don't think we no. can. Do I think th that we're the No, you of our can. Okay, so he was always Team Ben. Were you Did you ever switch over? You couldn't pay me to be Team Ben. Wow. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, I've always been Team Davey, like, truthfully and honestly, like, I am. Yes. Because I am in support of my girl, first and foremost, as my priority. Um, but, like, of course I have preferences, and since this is coming post, and I can actually, like, now talk about it, show's over, or we're done. I'm Team Paxton, okay? I am a Team Paxton girly. Um, I think just, like, A, his, like, that kind of chemistry is more my kind of vibe as like an audience member, as a fan. I love seeing them on screen together. I love the way that they push each other. I love how they do like truly grow together while being opposites. Cause I don't want someone who's so similar to me. I think that's kind of uh, like, I like my own personality and I don't need to see my reflection and my partner. That's gross. So I think they complement each other better, in my opinion. So I genuinely am Team Paxton. You heard it here first. Listen, all we could agree on is Team Davey, right? Like, yes. come on, at the end of exactly. the day, that's what matters. But Team the Paxton's pretty great. sweet, too. There we go. Right? And I yeah. <laughs> Team Davey's, that's it, you know? That's it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Listen, I mean, all the ship moments have been so beautiful. Right. I feel like every ship got their really iconic moments. Yeah. And I'm really curious what the three of you have learned from each other. You know, you obviously work together and you have that real friendship. I've gotten to see it interviewing you guys in the past. What have you learned from each other? Ooh, that's... I, um, that's I think for me, it's, uh, it's about belief. I think that these two both have believed in me a lot. And I think that I've sometimes had a hard time for just my life in general. I, I put a lot of pressure on myself of realizing like how hard I've been working or the things that I've accomplished. And I think that they both um, kind of put things into perspective for me a lot and they help me realize that I should really be proud of a lot of the things that I've done. So I'm very grateful to have them in my life. Thanks, bud. Wow. Oh, nice. I think, well, for Jaren, Jaren has definitely taught me to like, of course, like, his unconditional support all the, why are you look so concerned? <laughs> like, what's happening? Oh my I'm God. ready, go. His unconditional support is always just amazing, but he knows that. He knows I love and appreciate and I'm so grateful for his belief in me. But also, he has taught me to like live life too and like have fun and ugh, stupid remember the feeling. Um, it's really, yeah, like soak in the moment and really appreciate the moments that we have and feel joy outside, and just remember you're just a little fleck in a greater world. So it constantly he reminds me of that, just in how he is by himself and how he directly gives me advice. And then Darren, there are very few people who can give me a compliment and actually have it hit me and I actually believe them. And 
every time Darren hits me with a compliment, I know he genuinely means it because he doesn't just toss around compliments. No. And his support in me and how much he believes in me and how he's seen me grow, he's one of the most observant people I've ever met. And when he speaks, he speaks because he has something genuinely to say, not just for the sake of talking. And I very much so value that. And I, I really do look up to him a lot as like Thank the role you. model, but also just like so <clears throat> grateful to have him in my life as a presence. I echo that to you as well. And you, Jaron, as well. Um, I will say, Jaron is actually nice and chipper. It is not just a front to get under your skin. Yeah. All right. He's actually a nice guy. My tray, um, wise beyond her years, and she sometimes will push it with her blood sugar mm. and just not care and go off the rails. Mm. And that's because she has no fear. <laughs> and I love that. But just also, like, watch it and be healthy. All right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you all so much for your time. Those answers were so beautiful. And congrats on this show. It really meant a lot to me. And I'm so glad I got to speak with you all about it. It's been a pleasure. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you so much. Color. Ty Pornog, Rich, Sophia Soda with the Nerds of Color. So excited to be speaking with both of you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. I love this show. I love both of you. And the first thing I want to talk to you about is the family aspect of your characters. What do you hope that families watching the show together maybe take away from your characters and the family dynamic presented? Because this is a show I watch with my mom, so. Well, first of all, I just want to say that I am so happy people watch this show with their families. And like you said, you watch this show with your mom. I've met so many uh, young women and, and, and even parents who say, I watch this with my daughter, I watch this with my kids. Yeah. And to me, that is such a beautiful thing. Like, what a beautiful thing that this show has brought families together, uh, especially, you know, immigrant families and people from our culture. I never had a show like that to watch with my parents. And I don't even remember what your question was, but it's just, it brings me so much joy yeah. that that's what's happening. And it's it's opening up conversations about things that are so important and have never been spoken about before, especially in our, in our culture, and everything from mental health to grief to sex, uh, sex and, and teenage horniness. It's, it's funny, but it's true. Like these things we don't talk about. So it's just, it's really wonderful that this show has uh, opened up that conversation. Yeah, same, same. I mean, I mean, that was yeah. a beautiful answer. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Is there anything you want to add to that? I mean, that I guess was... that you know, in so many different families and different cultures, a lot is left unsaid, and and yeah. s sometimes you can never get yourself to say it or talk about it or bring it up. And yet, when you have a show that sort of does it for you, it's it's cathartic and necessary and healing for everyone. So, how amazing that there is. Uh, it is one of the biggest compliments. I watch it. I have to wait for my daughter. I have to wait for my mom. I have to wait for my, you know, we watch it together. Yeah, it's if such a compliment. no other show that I hear that about. They're really, like, what are you going to do, watch Succession with, like, with I don't. your mom? Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you could. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I would watch Succession with my mom. Yeah, I mean, But it's not, I mean? it's not something that would make us bond. It's not something that no. bond. Yeah. And, and I just think, what an un unbelievable gift to right. give the gift of bonding. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. And were you both satisfied with your characters' endings? I feel like you both got to leave that chapter in a very like hopeful and positive and nice way, which does not always get to happen yeah. with shows. And I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm curious what your thoughts were on it. Yeah, I think I think uh, to be honest, as just speaking as an as a fan of the show myself, you know, sense. watching all of the characters that I love so much, um, I think all of the characters had the perfect. I don't want to say ending because I don't feel like it. It doesn't even feel like an ending. It next just, chapter. No. Next They're chapter. Per perfect next yeah. chapter. Yeah, that's what I feel for all of us, including yeah. my own character. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel I feel like Melanie's journey is one of letting go and how she was able to do that not only in the four seasons, but was so beautiful with the, the symbolic gesture of taking her tali, her necklace off, and, you know, just small things and big things that just indicated that she's going to be okay. Yeah. Oh, please, I'm the first one in line pitching like a, a, a reboot, revival, whatever, just to get you guys back on my screen. <laughs> I was not ready to say goodbye. Not ready. <laughs> that would be not. amazing. <laughs> oh, and what have you both learned from each other? I mean, you both are just such incredible actresses and just mm -hmm. talking to you, you're both so lovely. So I want to know what it was like on set working together and if there was anything you took well, away from I know from it's a high school show about them, but it's we're also, we also like pretend like 
we're in high school and we're each other. I mean, it's 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 like we're always we act like we're in high school. Yeah, we act like means. we're in high. We, we act I don't so, know if that's a good thing. So immature <laughs> together. Is. It really feels like a friendship that's very ancient. Like when we met, when you know we were up when you're up to no good in high school. Like that's the energy we have, um, and it's uh, beautiful to go to work with someone you admire and I, I feel like Richard has my back and is so, I can't describe it, but it feels amazing to show up to work with your best friend. It's amazing. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself. That's such a lovely note to end on. Thank you both so much again for your time. Thank I you. really congrats on this show. Congrats on this season. Thank you so and much. And I can't wait to see what you do next. You're so Thank sweet. You. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Lee. Hi, Ramona. Sophia Soda with the Nerds of Color. Thank you so much for your time today. And congrats on this beautiful final season. It's really just a masterpiece. Thanks. Aww, hey. Thanks. Of course. So the first thing I want to ask you both is how you felt about Fabiola and Eleanor's individual endings. I thought they were really beautiful for your characters. Can you just share your thoughts on them initially and what it felt like filming them? I was so pleasantly surprised. I couldn't have imagined it going any better. Like it's the ultimate fanfic come into life. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I totally agree with that. I definitely feel like the characters had a great send off and I think everyone's going to be, you know, happy with the ending. And what are you hoping the legacy for the characters or the show overall is for the fans? I mean, this is such a special and incredible show. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope it's, um, I mean, it's so meaningful because it's one of like the first shows that really portrays a Southern Asian, you know, female lead. And so I hope that resonates and that sticks in the future when people look back and think about how it all started. Uh, yeah, I hope this show lives on forever. I hope 10 years from now, you know, it'll go viral on whatever version of TikTok we have. Mm -hmm. And I hope that they ask us to do a reboot. And then by the time we come back for the reboot, we're you know, just grown and yeah, it'll that'll be yeah. a whole thing. We'll be roommates instead of like in school. Yes, yeah. we'll be you know it's roommates it. after college. You know, the after college experience. Mm -hmm. I was literally just talking about this in the other rooms five seconds ago. So I I don't know if you were there or not, but like <laughs> we're all on the same page. Yes. Who do we gotta talk to? I need you guys back on my screen. You need to get me through the adult years now. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. we'll be there. Yes. <laughs> Love it. And what have you two both personally learned from working with each other? I mean, this cast is just such a beautiful and really amazing cast to speak with. And I imagine there's a, a bond there that lasts for a long time after. Gosh, I really, I really love how Lee is so confident in some ways like literally like every time she's on the carpet she slays like her her pose like everything she does is just like very sensual very like feminine very like herself and authentic and confident and and I look up to that because I personally feel awkward and like you know so I admire that I you look amazing, always on the carpet. Thank ah, you. Yeah. Always. Oh. always. She, no, both you, of you. 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 Both, both of, us. of you. Both of us. I love how Ramona can just say anything that comes to mind in any given situation, and it'll be absolutely hilarious. Um, and I just love how Ramona could just be herself in any, you know, in any situation. So I admire that. Aw, thank you. Which was your favorite moment or episode to film this season? I feel like there were a lot of really cool sequences and fun sequences. You know, when you do the college visit, then you have the wedding, all of those. I imagine it must have been so much fun to kind of dive into. I, I love the going, flying to the East Coast and doing that whole field trip. Like, that episode was a lot of fun to do. And a bunch of us were there together, so that mm -hmm. was fun. Yeah, that one felt, like, you know, different from what we usually, yeah. like, film. And so that one was really exciting. How far in advance did you know how the series was going to end? Were you like on the edge of your seat like everyone else season after season? Did you know a little bit of advance? What what was that like? <laughs> we didn't know nothing. We were finding out along the way. Like we would be like almost finished filming the fourth season and we still didn't know how it was going to end. And so, um, yeah, it was a roller coaster because we were like, where are our characters going to go? Um, so we just, 
we just went along blindly. Yeah. No idea. No idea. That's so interesting. I, I, it turned out perfectly. Couldn't have been yeah. better. And thank you both so much for your time. Congrats, and I can't wait for everyone else to see Thanks. it. Yeah. Fanboys, professional artists, and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you, talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me. The hard not like comics, movies, and TV. Yeah. Pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen. Hit play. So check this.